What's up, everybody? Before we started, I just wanted to give a quick shout out to the two podcasts I do because, you know, Skillshare can put their ads on my shit, so I'm going to advertise my other shit, goddammit. So yeah, check out my movie podcast, Review Anew, where we go through the filmographies of our favorite filmmakers. Uh, I actually put a playlist of episodes on my main YouTube page, but if you want to hear every exclusive episode, go to the podcast Patreon at patreon.com slash podcast. Also, check out my album review podcast, Going Off with Rap Critic and Muse. Every episode's available on Spotify, and if you want to support the show, plus request an album of your own, you can donate to our Kofi at Kofi.com slash going off. All the links are in the link tree in the description below. <laughs> Hi guys, Rap Critic here. And if you're confused by why I'm wearing this mask and why the hell I just made that noise, well stay tuned because you're the person who's about to get a hip hop history lesson. But first, this video was requested by Josh. And if you'd like to request a song, album, or movie for me to review, you already heard what I said before. So let's talk about third base. For those that don't know, this is MC Search and the Prime Minister Pete Nice, two of the coolest white guys of late 80s, early 90s hip hop. Like for real, you probably couldn't name a group of white dudes at the time more down with the culture than these guys. Nope, not even the Beastie Boys, cause their early material was often considered by many hip hop heads at the time to be frat boy posers putting on a gimmick. But third base had clout from the jump as badass underground dudes who flipped dope complex rhymes while also paying tribute to the roots of hip hop first and foremost. Their songs were marked with how they frequently used their access to the spotlight to help guys like Nas and a slew of other upcoming talented black artists gain a footing in the industry. As well as how they were white MCs not afraid to call out how the racism of the day was leading to the hokey commodifications of hip hop that a lot of people were taking notice of. That's right folks, that's third base's single diss in Vanilla Ice, with a phrase that became a staple for calling out sellouts who were watering down the sound of hip-hop with mediocrity. And in the same vein, today's song is about the gas face, a term for the exaggerated recoiling stank face you make when you smell a rank fart, except instead you do it in response to the assholes of the world because, you know, they stink. But, you know, figuratively speaking. And so the song's lyrics function as an anthem for calling out douchebags. From the money men at record labels who take advantage of inexperienced young artists by fleecing them with dodgy contracts. Put your on tour, put your record on wax. Trust me! Sign your life on the X, your exit X all, but what you really get about some new ports and Puma sweat. To calling out the baked in anti blackness of the current Eurocentric worldview. Black cat is bad luck, bad guys went black, must have been a white guy who started all that. Make the gas face, but old little white lie. They make the point of flipping the script by saying that the ones in power who demonize these signifiers of blackness are indeed demons themselves. And sure, it's kind of jokey the way they handle it, but they make points that still really resonate. Like, it's still an issue that black people have to deal with upper management discouraging black hairstyles for being quote unquote unprofessional in the business world. And third base back in 1990 was calling that out for the racist standard of beauty it always was. But as serious as these topics are, it still manages a really fun loose energy throughout, aided by the wacky live action cartoon of a music video that illustrates the points of the lyrics while packing in a bunch of fun cameos, including Kid and Play, De La Soul, and even a speaking part by Gilbert Godfrey playing the Weasley record exec at We Sell Records. Oh, come in and sit down! So nice of you to come here and dress for the meeting, too. I like the hats. It's a very nice touch. Oh, and I'd be remiss if I didn't mention the special guest verse. A special appearance by KMD's Self Love X. An artist you might know as goddamn MF motherfucking Doom before he became the vaude villain we know him as today. Man, dude's always been this lyrical, huh? And apparently, he's the one who actually came up with the term gas face, as Pete Nice points out earlier. On site, gave it the first light. And it's from this guest verse that his group KMD was actually able to get a boost of visibility that helped promote their upcoming debut album. So yeah, the song then ends in a big fun hangout moment, with different people in the studio calling out who does and doesn't get the gas face. Hammer, it's the early 90s, you knew the MC Hammer disc was coming. What do we think about Hammer? There were also some names in there I didn't know for the longest time. But PW Bones, I guess a gas face. Like this guy, who was apparently one of the government officials who helped perpetuate apartheid in South Africa. So yeah, he could definitely fuck right off. I also learned that Dante Ross is one of the A&Rs at Def Jam Records. But interestingly enough, MC Search actually balks against his gas face nomination. Yo, stop dissing Dante on records, y'all. And instead gives the gas face to Lior Cohen, the boss who actually owns the Def Jam company. Elroy, Elroy Cohen gets a gas face. Bro. <laughs> Cause hey, why diss the underlings? 
I mean, it's the boss who's ultimately in charge of how the money moves. They're literally the ones who could make things fairer in the world and the workplace, but they won't because they want to keep more of the money to themselves. So screw them. Overall though, I give this a 4 out of 5. The music definitely sounds a little dated, but it's a fun, goofy, classic joint about everyone getting together to thumb their noses at the assholes of the world, and I can't think of a time when that type of energy wouldn't be needed. Well, that's the episode. Leave a like if you like because it helps, comment if you have something to say because it helps even more, and hit the subscribe button and the bell afterwards because the bell is what actually alerts you to new episodes. So do all that stuff, thanks for watching, and well before I close out this video I, I wanted to say this episode is dedicated to the memory of MF Doom the supervillain. Thanks for giving us all the awesome music you gave us over the years. MF Doom does not get the gas face. But Rush Limbaugh gets the big gas face! Ah, rotten hell you fucking bigot. <laughs>